Hi, and welcome to the show. Today, we thought we'd escape the European heat wave, head underground, and go and see Adam. Thanks, Charlie. This week in climbing, Ian Dory briefly forgot which way up was. Down. Boy, me. Tim Kempel put in a strong contender for the world's ultimate photo bomb. Shake it, shake it. And Nally Hukatival misplaced his gangster rap boombox and had to go on a search for it. It's like a car wash. I guess we're still on the road. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Hey Daniel, did you find it? No! No! As well as the Rocklands boulders getting a lot of attention, the British sea cliffs were also being shown some love although they weren't necessarily given that back. Some more climbing action that will be taking place above the water this week is America's Seco Block competition. And if it's anything like last year's event, it promises to be an extremely exciting spectacle. Until, of course, everyone gets tired of watching the same climbers climb the same route over and over again. Or individual athletes race against themselves. So, I just got word that Isaac took the back ball in the pool. He's hurt his ear. We're having him checked out. We're not sure if he's going to climb tomorrow, but we're still going to cheer on Sean here. One athlete who sadly won't be competing this year is, of course, Alex Puccio. And that brings us to this week's Alex Puccio Award. And the runner-up is Mike Hart with this. Nice try, Mike, but you did use your feet at the end. This week's winner is, of course, Alex Puccio, who did this in a leg brace. Okay. Power to the pooch. Remember to keep hashtagging your training photos and videos, Puccio Power. We'll see you next week on The Social. Thanks, Adam. One last thing before we leave you. Don't forget that if right now you go and sign up to become an Epic TV member, you'll get 10% off everything in the shop, which is nice. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>